everyone, my name is Cora and I have a bit of a problem. The Harajuku fashion walk in my city is in like three or four days time and I still haven't yet decided what I'm going to wear. I'm sort of torn between two vague looks I have in my mind and I'm also torn between two new items that I've recently gotten from some pretty sweet brands that I would love to wear but I can't really decide between the two and I thought I might show you what they are and do a bit of a styling vlog. Maybe you could help me decide which look I should wear. Here is the first item. It is a peplum top from a local Brisbane brand called Grump. And so it is ethically made in Brisbane. The fabric is ethically printed in Hanzhou, China. The brand is also very plus size friendly. They have a ton of cute, colorful, bold prints. I'll be linking the shop in the description below and you should definitely go show it some love. So this item is from a little brand called Glitterite Goods on Etsy, which is owned by my friend, Catherine, whom some of you might know as The Stitches. She sells vintage denim jackets and vests that she thrifts and dyes herself. She put this on the back per my request. Now, a bit of a disclosure, this is a gifted item. I am not being paid to say how much I like this thing. I just really do, in fact, like this thing. Okay, let's get into the styling part of the video. So it might be a bit difficult to fit everything onto this teeny tiny desk of mine, but I figured I should just lay it out. So here's the top. With both of these looks, I plan on playing around with a lot of layers. First, I am going to add my rainbow turtleneck underneath. I think this will just look so cute. The little sleeveys peeking out from the sleeveys and the little neck hole peeking out from the neck hole. They look so gorgeous together, like how this blue matches with this blue, how um, these pinks match with this pink, the yellow matches with the yellow here. I just think it's going to look so cute. But that is not the only layer I plan on adding. Say hello to this cardigan that I was wearing at the beginning of the video and now I've got to put on a new one. So yeah, I'm gonna probably drape this around my elbows so that I can expose the cute rainbow sleeve part here. I just think that would look so, so, so adorable. <laughs> like, yeah, just, <clears throat> just imagine it. And now for the bottom part, this pleated pink gingham skirt that I made with my granny a while back gonna look so adorable layered under the little peplum you know I am a sucker for pattern mixing and this pink matches this pink so well this is sort of where I'm a little bit at a loss of what to do now mostly in the realm of leg wear now the problem with layering this skirt these tights these rainbow socks and these shoes is it's basically the exact bottom half of a previous outfit that I've created. Now I usually try to destigmatize outfit repeating but part of me wants to force an occasion as special as the Harajuku fashion walk which only ever happens in my city once a year. I kind of want to have something new and I kind of want to break up the pink of the skirt and the tights somehow. I could try layering another skirt underneath and I'm thinking about going for this 
purple tool. It's actually rather long and it would sit around here where the peplum starts and it'll just peek out from underneath and it'll be almost like this triple tiered look which I think would be so sweet and so cute and let's just see how it will look with the tights and the socks. So you see that contrasts the end, goes with the skirt quite nicely. But the thing is I'm gonna have to tie some of that purple in with the rest of the outfit. So I'd wanna bring it to the top a little bit, which I might do through accessories. I have a few things, accessories that I wanna add that I think will really bring in that nice shade of purple. So here are all of the accessories I've added. Um, also, the cats decided that they absolutely had to be in here. So yes, we're, they're unfortunately going to cause some distractions. I like to try and incorporate an element from the top into the bottom and an element from the bottom into the top most of the time. Excuse someone being noisy in the kitchen, but for to match the purple skirt here, I tried to pop in like little bits of lighter purple or like that or like I completely forgot about this, but it was nice to dig that back up again. A few of like these star gems, which I, they're basically craft gems that I like to stick onto my face with eyelash glue so I can reuse them over and over again, unlike stickers. You also get a bit more of sort of, I guess, the darker purple to match this purple here. Same with like these hearts, which used to be stuck onto those glasses, but I ripped them off. And I figured the glasses would be important because I don't know how to do makeup or eye makeup and I can, I like to wear glasses to hide that fact. You'll notice um, with my iridescent YRU shoes, I decided to bring in this necklace and this little hair clip bow that I clipped onto there. There's also a bit of holographicness in these earrings and these earrings are the same shade of blue as this stripe and this top so I thought that they would go very nicely together like the star ring is a free gift that I got with the vest that I showed you before if you can't already tell this is coming across very decor like you've always got to wear a minimum of three necklaces but I'm wearing four I wonder if I can somehow squeeze another one in. Instead of wearing hair clips in my hair, I decided to put them along the side of the beret and I will have this side of the beret on the side of my head that doesn't have gorgeous cascading locks of curly, wavy ginger hair. <laughs> The beret I just thought would be like super cute and feminine as well and I love hats they really complete a look and they also hide the fact that I don't know how to style my hair either and sometimes you just have a bad hair day. I just wanted to mention that I forgot to pop this bag in with the rainbow decor look. I got it secondhand off Depop and I really like it and I really want an excuse to wear it out. This is look number one. Let's move on to the second look that I am also considering. So the next item that I am going to style is this vest. I want to use the vest to bring like a punch of punk to an otherwise rather soft and dainty cord. The main piece that I plan on wearing with this vest is this dress from my favorite brand as you know clean 
the label. You would have seen this in my Pastel Rainbow Alternative. And if you haven't watched it yet, I will put a link to that in the description below. And you would have seen me lose my mind over how gorgeous this dress is. You can't really see the top so much up here, but it's there and it, it'll be slightly more visible when it's actually on my body. But yeah, I just think that for a dress as soft as this, layering this over it just brings it to like a whole new level. It just makes it into a whole new look. And also if I'm going to be wearing a vest that says Eco Girl on the back, you bet I'm going to wear some of my most eco-friendly clothing with it because this dress is made out of um, fabric scraps and unwanted bed sheets. It's just, I love that scrappy, that patchy aesthetic. It It's gorgeous. But since it is winter in Australia right now, it is going to be cold at the fashion walk, which is why I can't just wear sleeves this short and um, let my arms be exposed. It actually looks quite amazing when layered under this pastel rainbow vintage shrug, which you also would have seen in my alternative. And so you may be thinking, oh, but it'll cover up the design on the back, which is again why I will probably drape it around my elbows because, you know, I want to show the world that I am, in fact, an eco-girl. So, as you can see, the tights and the shoes have made a return. The tights look like they're quite dark compared to the rest of the outfit, but you have to remember that when these are on my legs, they're going to be rather stretched out, so they'll look a bit lighter, and the pink will match the pink on the vest a lot more um and as you know always gotta have some cute layering socks so i decided to go for some mint socks to match the mint dress i know it's a bit more pale and it's sort of hard to read the color in this light but i'd layer them with like these sheer blue socks and the blue here kind of matches the blue on the shrug here. Um, mm, doesn't match the blue here so much, which looks a bit more green on the camera. But you know, this color is also fairly similar to like this color here, even though this I think is a bit more of a purpley, if anything. <laughs> Um, and also the shoes make a return. I feel like if you're gonna wear something like this, you need something a bit harder and chunkier, like these platforms. And so here are all of the accessories. This is the bag that I am going to have. I know I don't have a ton of purple in my look, but I don't know. I, I thought it was cute and I wanted to add it. And there is a little bit of purple here and there anyways, so it'll work just fine. Instead of layering up the necklaces in my other look, I'll just have this one. It probably won't be looped around the collar like that. It'll probably only be looped around this collar and sort of dangled down here, but it shouldn't be hiding too much since, as I said, this will look a bit more open when it's actually on my body. Again, I'm probably going to experiment with having clips around the rim, but I'm still not 100% sure about that. So because it's a little busier on this side because of the pins, I decided to incorporate a few hair clips on that side so that it keeps the nice asymmetry while also bringing a little bit extra detail here to help balance it out. Obviously, you've got your bracelets and you've got your rings. I may or may not wear all of these. Um, sometimes you've just got to put a bunch of stuff on and then choose what to take off, if you get what I mean. And sometimes you've just got to put a bunch of stuff on and then put a bunch more stuff on. You've got these 
gems again to glue onto my face with eyelash glue. This is the completed look. Which do you prefer? This one? Or the other one that I showed you? Please do let me know in the comments below. I'm very excited to hear your opinions. I just feel so lucky to live in this world full of beautiful clothes because at least deciding between two beautiful outfits to wear is a pretty sweet problem to have. Hello, so I just thought I'd film the outro here, just holding the camera because my phone is low on battery and I just want to get this filming part over and done with. I hope you really enjoyed this sort of styling vlog. I know this is the kind of content that I personally would love to see more in future. And sorry for not trying stuff on. I wanted to leave that how the looks look on me as a little bit of a mystery so that you're not spoiled for the Harajuku fashion walk. So definitely look forward to that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you want to see more content from me. If you're still not convinced, definitely go check out my channel. Okay, everyone. Bye-bye!